Well, here's an update on my red harvester ants, the queens. Started out with about 50 queens earlier, uh, well, in August, I guess the end of July, beginning of August. And I have about half of them left that have survived, so 25 or so have died for who knows just a variety of reasons I suppose these have been hibernating now for several months some of them have one or two workers but I've noticed several of the workers um, have died I think there's one down here on the end yeah, there's a dead worker right in the middle there there's a dead worker in the second one over That one's still alive. But yeah, several of the workers have died. I don't know why exactly. I've had to add additional water, so there's double test tubes now. I just tape them together and I poke holes in the tape right at the seam so 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 there still can be some fresh air that can get in. And I also have a few, three queens here, in uh, Omni nests. They're in hibernation as well, and most of the workers have died. None of the none of the queens had more than maybe three or four workers, but this queen right in the middle, in this vertical Omni nest, um, she had. Two workers, but they're both dead now. I don't know where they are. She maybe she ate them. But I've opened up the top three levels of this vertical for her. She doesn't have access to an outworld at this point. I just have a. You can see I just connected a, a test tube with water in it, extra water, if she needs it, right there. Um, and I think she might have an egg. Just one that she's guarding. Seems like I saw one. Not 100% sure. And then this Omni Nest. Large. Let's see. One of the workers has died. You can see it in that little half pipe of plexi tube. I put some honey in there and one of the workers got stuck in there. I didn't notice it in time. But I think she has, you can see her tucked away in there right up next to the blue sponge. I think she does have one worker that's still alive and I just have her connected to a test tube as well, not an outworld. And I blocked off this end so that they only have three three rooms that they can access. I did that because uh, I noticed some of them were wandering around in this huge nest and it was too big for them I think. I don't know if they were getting lost or what but I chose just to block it off with cotton. And then in this Omni Nest small um, same idea, connected to a test tube is all for extra water, moisture. There is one queen in here, and I think she actually has three, three workers. Let me see if I can find her here. Right in here. They seem to position themselves right by the water sponge. You can see her. I don't see any of the workers. They're probably right up next to her. There's one in the test tube. There's another one down there, it looks like. Yeah, so that's it. I'm going to. Uh, I plan on taking them out of hibernation, putting a, a heat cable underneath portions of the their nests and the test tubes probably end of February. 
so maybe a month and a half a little less than a month and a half and we'll see if they start producing again if the queen will start producing again